a deal has been reached between China and Brazil to abandon the US dollar. As the world's second largest economy, China is gradually severing its links with the United States, and the US dollar is the first casualty of this shift. In this video, we will delve into the specifics of this development, explore the reasons behind it, evaluate its implications, and determine whether it is really a matter of concern. Billionaire Ray Dalio has previously predicted the inevitable collapse of every major economy. He asserts that these cycles occur regularly, and it is possible to prepare for the events that occur about once every century. In this regard, he outlines how these cycles usually unfold and suggests ways to be better equipped for what lies ahead. For the past eight decades, the US dollar has been the world's most dominant currency as it serves as a reserve currency. This denotes a currency that is universally accepted, and since 1945, the US dollar has held that position due to its reliability, robustness, and stability. The system was initially implemented to stabilize investment prices, exchange rates, and commodities such as gold and oil, ensuring that the value of any currency held was linked to that of the US dollar. In a scenario where multiple nations are engaging in trade activities, it is convenient to have a single universally accepted currency with a consistent value to facilitate these transactions. Otherwise, there is a risk of receiving payment in a currency that may be challenging to exchange or has depreciated in value by the time it is converted back into the recipient's native currency. Undoubtedly, the United States also reaps the benefits of the US dollar being a reserve currency as more nations adopt it, thereby bolstering its buying power. However, the US dollar is currently at a risk of losing its reserve currency status, and Ray Dalio's book, The Changing World Order, provides an explanation as to why this is happening. Dalio argues that the world order is constantly evolving, with a leading economy eventually being overtaken by a rising economy. This cyclical process results in the replacement of the existing world order as new economic powers emerge. For instance, the British pound held reserve currency status for 105 years before the US dollar took over in 1945. Before that, it was held by a series of other currencies, including the Dutch Gilder, the Spanish and Portuguese currencies, and Venetian gold. It is important to note that reserve currencies have never endured indefinitely, and a shift in dominance typically occurs every century accompanied by a transitional period lasting anywhere between 10 to 20 years. Dalio identifies three key phases that contribute to this process of change. The first phase is the rise, which is characterized by a period of peace, prosperity, and confidence in the new reserve currency. During this time, people invest and borrow on the assumption that the current system will continue. This stage is typically marked by a robust educational system strong critical thinking skills, a focus on character building, and a strong work ethic, all of which foster innovation, new technologies, and greater productivity. To finance the continued increase in productivity, a borrowing system must be established that enables individuals from across the globe to convert their currency into investments that participate in the success of this growth. As Dalio highlights, all successful reserve currencies have followed this path, eventually leading to their dominance. Dalio notes that during an economic downturn, if a country is unable to manage its own debts, it must choose between defaulting or printing more money. Invariably, countries opt for the latter, which results in currency devaluation and inflation. Since the 1990s, the central bank has intervened thrice to finance an industry collapse, first during the dot-com bubble, then during the mortgage crisis, and once again during the COVID-19 shutdown. Presently, the value of the US dollar is weakening. Although technically, one dollar is always equivalent to a dollar, the currency's value is measured against three different metrics. Firstly, the exchange rate to other currencies is considered, followed by the demand for 10-year treasury notes. Finally, the amount of US dollars held by other countries, also known as foreign currency reserves, is taken into account. 
Regarding the exchange rate to other currencies, it is true that the US dollar's value has been decreasing since 2020. However, it is worth noting that the value of the US dollar has been higher recently than it has been in the last 20 years, despite the recent dip. As for the demand for the 10-year treasury notes, there are essentially just a 10-year loan to the government. Individuals who are looking for a safe place to store their money will buy these and receive a guaranteed return on their capital. Although the US dollar has been increasing in value relative to our domestic currency due to the rising interest rates, which leads to greater demand for higher yielding bonds and benefits the US dollar, the outlook for foreign currency reserves is less optimistic. Other currencies are gradually replacing the US dollar, resulting in a steady decline as reported by CNBC. This decline has now reached its lowest point in the past 25 years. On March 29th, it was revealed that China and Brazil made an agreement to conduct their trade using their own currencies, bypassing the US dollar as an intermediary. As a result, they can now directly trade with each other without needing to purchase US dollars in the process. This deal covers transactions worth around $150 billion per year, which will no longer pass through the United States. It's worth noting that this is not the first instance of a shift away from the US dollar. China has been gradually reducing its dependence on the US dollar since 2010. Russia and India both abandoned the US dollar a year ago, while Saudi Arabia recently expressed its openness to trading using the Chinese Yuan. Moreover, China, Russia, Brazil, India, and South Africa have already joined forces to create their own reserve currency, separate from the US dollar, called BRICS. Therefore, this recent development is not entirely unexpected although it may have a significant impact. According to Great Capital on Twitter, China's trading volume increased dramatically during the Russia-Ukraine conflict due to sanctions, allowing them to further solidify their position in international trade. There are concerns about whether the US dollar's reserve currency status is at risk, but as of now, there is no immediate replacement in sight. Although there is uncertainty regarding the future of the US dollar, it remains the dominant reserve currency. However, it is noteworthy that China's economy is projected to surpass that of the US by 2030, and the BRICS economies are some of the world's fastest growing nations, which may affect the US dollar's position. While this may not inspire the most confidence, the US dollar remains the most widely used currency for international trade and financial transactions. It is unlikely that the US dollar's position as the primary currency for global transactions will change anytime soon. While it's possible that a new reserve currency could emerge, numerous significant events would need to occur for this to happen. Even if a massive event undermines the United States' role in worldwide trade, it's uncertain whether a new currency would take its place in a predictable manner. The US dollar's dominance is expected to continue for the foreseeable future. While the US dollar's dominant position in global transactions is expected to persist, there are still concerns being raised. Even Elon Musk has tweeted about this being a serious issue. The US policy's heavy-handedness has led countries to consider ditching the dollar. Moreover, excessive government spending has caused other countries to bear a significant portion of the inflation burden. Barron's recently reported that the US stimulus followed by the financial crisis, started a currency war, where the greenback was deliberately cheapened to boost America's economy. This situation is dangerous because other countries might start to compete, as seen with Saudi Arabia's recent trade agreement putting additional pressure on the United States. Despite the fact that the US dollar is being traded less, competition among countries is increasing, and this trend is expected to continue. However, in my personal opinion, the US dollar's position as a reserve currency is secure, as it still holds a significant lead over other currencies. Most of the headlines you see are simply sensationalized and geared towards generating clicks. But what do you think is going to happen to the United States when the US dollar loses its status as the global reserve currency? Comment your thoughts below. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button. 
subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our latest uploads.